Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about copy constructor in C++ programming. Copy constructor is used to initialize an object using another object and both of the objects has to be of the same class type. And the syntax of copy constructor is, first we have the name of the constructor which is eventually the name of the class and the copy constructor takes reference of the old object as argument. And then inside the curly braces, we write the body of the copy constructor. Like in example, we have one constructor called student and the constructor takes one student type object reference. And then inside the curly braces, we write the code to copy the members of the old object to the new object. So in this example program, we have one class called student and the class has the data member name and also has one constructor which takes one parameter to initialize that data member. So now we are going to create one copy constructor which will take one student type reference of the old object. And then we are going to initialize the name with the name of the old object. So we are copying the name property of the old object to the name of the new object and now inside the main method I'm gonna create one student type object s1 and I'm gonna pass the name as Tom and now we're gonna create one new student object s2 and I'm gonna pass the old object this way the old object property will be copied to the new object and now we can use the C out and we can print the name of the new object. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna run the program. And you can see we have printed the name property of the new object. And there is another way we can copy the property of old object to the new object using the assignment operator. So we can create one student object S2 and we can directly assign the S1. And if we just save this and run the program you can see the program just works the same so there is two way we can invoke the copy constructor either we can use the parameterized version or we can use the assignment version in both the cases the copy constructor will be invoked and the property of the old object will be copied to the new object so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you